Okay, I thought I'd make a quick video addressing the beach cruiser hub. So, um, you know, they have this coaster brake and the lever comes down there and it's usually really tricky to get on around your sprocket. Now you're going to have a dust cover there as well. And my first um, piece of advice here is when you're mounting this up, you want to dremel out the inside um, diameter of the hole on the sprocket in order to get around that dust cover. Because if you clamp to that dust cover, it's going to screw up your bearings, possibly, or it's just going to clamp it down on your bearings and it's not going to be able to move. <clears throat> so you want to dremel this out so it goes around your dust cover. Now, the next matter of business is after you get this all tightened down, how you're supposed to all straighten the line, and usually you're going to want your uh, sprocket teeth, you know, they have an offset. You want, you're going to want those to be offset to the outside like I have it here because it's going to have to clear your wheel and your fender, which um, you can always take your fender and kind of bend it in with your thumbs and get it to clear your chain like I have here. So, you know, that worked out pretty good clears the fender real nice but anyway with this uh, coaster brake what you're gonna want to do is put two bends in it now if you don't it's gonna hit you can even see how close it is to my bolts it's gonna hit on those bolts um, on any bike with a coaster brake so what you're gonna have to do is put the back end in a vise and then bend the front or bend this bigger body part and then once you have a little bit of a bend in that, then you want to clamp this other part that hooks in down here in the vise and put a C-clamp on right down here by the vise and bend it the other direction. And when you're bending, you want the C-clamp as close to the vise as possible so that you know it bends right at the point where the vise is clamping so you can be real accurate with your bends. And it takes some bending back and forth. Um, you know, it's not completely straightforward, but, um, anyway, that's pretty much how I install those, and they seem to work. You don't want to remove your dust cover, because, you know, you don't want your a bunch of dirt to be getting in your bearings, so, again, you want to make sure that you dremel this out and make it big enough to go around your dust cover, and pretty much, if you do that, you should be good, so that's one of the trickier parts of the beach cruisers. So anyway, there you have it.